Michele Mogo, a beauty of my body, mind, and soul. I knew of her before I met her. She was at Alliance Girls and I at Alliance Boys. I was a year I heard of her. Her beauty had somehow spread across the valley between the two schools. Later, we would meet at Makerere, Kampala, Uganda, both of us students of English, where we ended up as editors of Penpoint, the department's literary magazine. A little did I know that our time together at Makerere was only a dress rehearsal for our time as colleagues in the newly born literature department of the University of Nairobi. It was not only the work in the department. In some ways, it was the best of times for both of us. But the highlight was our collaboration in the writing of the play, The Trial of Deden Kimathi. It was performed in Nairobi and later in Nigeria, first act 77, 1977. Theater would be the beginning of our troubles with both the Jomo Kenyatta and the Daniel Moy governments. Barely a year after the play, I was sent to commit a maximum security prison. Michelle Mogo was thrown into police cells for torture. By 1982, both of us were in exile in different parts of the world, but we ended up as professors in American universities. I will always remember her. She was a unique combination of beauty of body, mind, and soul. She put that beauty to the service of the empowerment of the working people of Africa and the world. Oh, Watu morikira jera ona duma eiga na atia kugado masiwa siawe tekiwa waku ate modo ne modo ne wa modo orea ogi. <tose>